Hello family, warmest welcome back again to the Love Vista channel. Super thankful, super grateful to each and every one of you for coming back. Taking your way back the memory lane where you went to the street to get yourself some Kobe aka Yoko Gary, aka Gary and Beans. There is a lot of a lot of different touches that I've added to this wonderful recipe. So you do not want to miss this. Please stay tuned while we cook our Yoko Gary together. So for this recipe, you will need your black eye beans and um, i use two cups of that i have my maggi cube my shrimp powder and i also have some veggies In the plate i have some chopped onions chopped red bull peppers some fresh basil leaves and some hot habanero pepper which i've also chopped and my red oil and of course some gas i have my ripe plantains my avocados salt i had some boiled egg on the side which i didn't show here but please family check in the description box i have listed every ingredient that i used there so i start off by washing my beans thoroughly you see that there are you know uh, there are beans that are dead in there so once you put in the water it will start to flow up and then you go ahead and pick the bad ones out of the good ones and once you're done with that you put it in your pan and you will add lots of water to this then i go ahead to add my shrimp powder maggi cubes salt and my my dried fish this is on salted dried fish it's called kako in tree but um kako is normally salted but i do find this very helpful because these ones i found i get them in the african market and they are not salted really good i add it all up and then put it to a boil this will honestly take lots of water so you just check up on it and if you feel like it needs water it's not like you feel it will need lots more water so when the water goes down you just add more and you repeat it when you put in the water just check come and check on it every at least 10 to 20 minutes and i promise you you will need to add lots and lots and lots of water came to check every 20 minutes and i added water each time I checked on it, I checked around four to five times, and then me almost um, one hour, forty-five minutes to two hours to get my preferred, you know, texture that I want my beans to be. So this is obviously not going to be um, a quick fix food, but it's on a chilled normal day that you don't also want to do too much so what i go ahead to do is to cut my um ripe plantains and the twist here is i'm not going to fry it in deep oil i am going to use my newfound love it is so good to me and i think family you will need to save your coins for this all right it's so good healthy i use my air fryer for my plantains and it was actually the second time i used to do anything here first i use it for my chicken it was so perfect for the plantain took a little bit of time but it, it came out just fine so i just go ahead to chop my bright plantain like so and then do my bright solution i put some salt um in water and then just let, allow it to dissolve and then put my ripe plantains in that is how i love to add salt to um my plantains even though plant ripe plantains turn out to be very sweet you still need some salt and it is always best to do your brine solution you know you do not want to add the salt directly to your ripe plantains take it for me is the best way to do that okay family so once i have just washed all 
rinse it off in this brine solution I just go ahead and just begin to brush um, the pan how do, how do I call this yeah I call it the pan or the air fryer I just brush it with a, just a tiny little bit of um, vegetable cooking oil and then I just start to spread my fried plantains the thing that I've learned about this air fryer is that you will need to spread out if you want to achieve a, a good fry you know added with my chicken it wasn't no it was no problem but if you are doing with um, maybe potatoes or plantains you need to to all that I needed you need to space them out you don't need to pack everything into it like at once obviously the bottom part is not going to fry as you want it to case you have one the perfect um you know decrease you need to use is 170 for 10 minutes you fry at um both sides and it's going so to this is how it came out after frying it on each side for 10 minutes and let me tell you it looks like it has been fried in the oil first i thought i'm going to get cocoa to or something but it actually feels moist like how you you would you know fry your plantains in oil this is time saving number one what and most importantly very healthier way to fry your um things so please save your coins and get one for yourself i am a believer okay you will also be a believer you have to try this really really good and most importantly you're not going to think about hurting yourself like i'm doing now you know when you're frying something in the oil there's always always the risk of hurting yourself but with the air fryer of course you're not doing you are not thinking about that at all so i go ahead to fry my onions and the rest of the vegetables that are left in my um red oil yes you will need red oil in your gobe if not what kind of gobe is this <laughs> go ahead to add all the remaining vegetables i infuse it and Oh, it smells so so good in here and yeah basically fry this for at least five minutes and yeah I will get the infusion that I need and yeah we are done done means done yes this doesn't mean this is ready our um, vegetables has been fried and infused in this beautiful oil our Fried plantain has been fried and we're coming to family i'm taking you way back yes yes to the days that you went to the street and actually bought it and this is exactly how you are being served your beans first mommy me pay beans me bread when it's got your business your best beans ni mo so ne gomo and more gary Oh Lord, I'm just dying of laughing here. It is just so, so, so nostalgic. I couldn't believe myself that I did this. Honestly, I was like, what am I doing? But I was trying to imitate that woman on the street who was selling this. I had bought this lots, numerous uncountable times. And yes, this is exactly how I was served and just couldn't help myself but just bring all that good memories back if you were not able to experience this probably you were dada b even the dada b's loved gobe they love the and who doesn't who doesn't love gobe <laughs> tell me i of course touched up with some green chili sauce of mine please check out the pepper them ch green chili sauce you're going to love it i just touched up the end yes i'm going to just twist it around yeah and make my knot exact same way i was you know i bought mine 
go back at home this is so fun i had lots of fun doing this and i was like smiling all throughout in times if you don't have time to really sit down and eat all you do is you buy that <laughs> You buy that area and then you suck it up. Oh my gosh, this is so so fun and it's so great. And of course, this you can also you know serve it this way, the modern way, the modern era, which is pretty much boring. I think the first one was fun. <laughs> yes, you just serve it like that. Of course, you can do this for your darling, your darling deserve better you deserve to be you know to be pampered make him feel like a king or the queen if you are the man doing this just serve it like that put it in the plate sprinkle that gorgeous oil on top and of course put your fried plantains your fried plantains on the side like that not too much gary with this method of serving and of course your green sauce on the side as well and yeah everything looks so so good and very simple dish but yet it will fill you up it will fill that belly all that you'll be doing the whole day is to drink water yeah just drink water the whole day and you'll be fine with this amazing super dish and of course i know you'll be saying aha that is Ghanaians for you you guys add eggs in every dish of yours and of course we know that <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah we know that okay eggs are so good allow us to eat our eggs we add eggs in every dish and it's okay <laughs> look at my egg right there and i'm going to enjoy it this way this is the way that i love to eat mine and of course it is so so good and very very satisfying to also see ah look at that so 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 moist so filling and i am just in love with this dish ah oh my goodness i was so happy the whole day i had this i just was the happiest girl ever this is so simple and it's also very inexpensive dish it's so good just hope i brought lots of fun memories to you and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and comment share for others to also see and if this is your first time here do not forget to subscribe and join the family for new videos new recipes every week thank you so so much for watching see you in my next video bye